the reality is far from what you'll see on the TV. You know, when you're in a bunker freezing cold, you're unarmed. So if the, the, the Russians came and assaulted that position, um, what would you do? You know, this is reality. This is not what you see in the movies. This is not what you'll have experienced in Iraq or, or Afghanistan. This is a completely different role, a different environment. I initially um, had no intentions of, of being involved in the military side of it. Mine was purely humanitarian. It was an impulse that, that I was going to go and fill my van with humanitarian aid and literally leg it out there. But unfortunately, some of the younger guys that, that I met there had no idea. They, 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 they were non-combatants, had no military experience, literally never put a pair of military boots on before. And of course, I quietly observed this and, and, and I found it quite emotional, you know, that these boys didn't realize what they were doing and there was no one to advise them. When they got boots on the ground, they wouldn't have known one end of a rifle. Uh, to another, which I found very, very determined, very, very, very yeah, deeply challenging emotionally. Um, and, you know, one example uh, um, was a young guy not too far away from here, 18 years old from a council estate. And I looked at him and thought, what are you doing here, son? You know, what are you doing here? Commendable, you know, it's great. You want to fight for the free world and liberate the people of Ukraine. Um, but my experience would be you're more of a hindrance than a help. I got sucked in because of my compassion for these untrained guys to try and give a little bit of guidance. Um, just, you know, one snippet they might take away with them that might save them, save their lives. 